All right, so we're about to jump in, kick off our warp gates, and we're gonna start by kicking off a warp gate. It's the Vance Prep warp gate. You've already installed it. It's just to create our sacred space to help like tell the energy first to clear ourselves, but also tell the energy where we want to go because we're releasing so much of it. And we want our day to be like as calm and peaceful as possible, even though we're doing a ton, a ton of energy work. So it's very simple. It's just advanced prep warp gate, activate in my highest good. <sighs> All right, so you got your sacred space. We're gonna do some self-referencing energetic chains if you are an only child. It's okay if you have stepsisters or stepbrothers, you'll still do those clearings. But if you're genetically an only child, you wanna do these too. It's very simple. All of the self-referencing energetic chains I have to myself, is it safe to receive love being the only one I release in my highest good? <sighs> Just taking a moment to fill that in the body. Then we're gonna do the knot versions. All of the self-referencing energetic chains I have to myself, is it not safe to receive love, being the only one I release in my highest good? Awesome, so now you've kicked off your warp gate. We're just gonna tell the energy where to go because your unconscious mind is gonna be doing a ton, a ton, a ton of energy work. And we just wanna make that kind of dissipate as easily as possible. So your conscious mind, your conscious day goes as easy as it can while you're doing a ton of energy work. And it's very simple. It's the advanced prep warp gate. Once again, so we say advanced prep warp gate, activate in my highest good. <sighs> Awesome, you are done for the day. You've kicked off your warp gates. They're gonna be running in your unconscious mind. And like I like to say, until we talk again, have a blessed day or a blessed night.